Dok langsung ketemu gua. Sweet. 
Tingong ko. Mas hindi lang pa na madungang laba. Puli-puli raba mo sir. Okay, nasa yun lang. Okay raba mo, tingong ko dire. Nasa lang. Okay, magkuha sa tuuna sa si... Panatang makabayan, panatang makabayan, iniibig ko ang Pilipinas. Aking lupang sinilangan, tahanan ng aking lahi. Kinukup ko pa ko at tinutulungan, maging malakas, masipag at marangal. Dahil mahal ko ang Pilipinas, diringgin ko ang payo ng aking mga magulang. Susundin ko ang tuntunin ng aking paaralan. Tutuparin ko ang tungkulin ng mamamayang makabayan. Naglilingkod, Nag-aaral at nagdarasal ng buong katapatan. Iaalay ko ang aking buhay, pangarap, pagsisikap sa bansang Pilipinas. Vision Mission, Vision, aware of the prevailing global and national issues, particularly on social, political, 
economic, social, cultural, and environmental concerns, St. Scholastica's Academy Tabunok envisions a learning community where every individual strives towards Christian discipleship, seeking God and witnessing the life and works of Jesus Christ, full personhood, striving for one's cognitive, physical, social, emotional, moral, and spiritual growth, genuine love of country, participating in bringing about the good news of liberation through the solidarity with the poor and promoting good governance and responsible citizenship. Mission. Impelled by our vision, our mission is to realize an institution of learning, upholding academic excellence as social responsibility, and proclaiming God's love in Christ through service, evangelization, and the formation of the youth. These are concretized in our curricular and co-curricular programs and all other programs of actions. Sa ngala ng Ama, ng Anak, at ang Diyos, Spirito Santo. Amen. Diyos, tulungan mo ako. Panginoon, magmagdali kang tulungan ako. Luwalhati sama sa Anak at sa Spirito Santo. Kapara nung unang-una, ngayon, magpakailanman at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Mahabaging Ama, Marami pong salamat sa biyaya na iyong ipinagkaloob sa amin sa bawat araw na kami ay nanatiling buhay sa mundong ito, kasama ang aming pamilya at mga mahal sa buhay. Ama, salamat po higit sa lahat sa araw na ito dahil kami nagtipon-tipong magkaisa sa panalangin. Marami pong salamat sa aming mga kaibigan, pamilya, anak, asawa at bana. Mga Madrid Pari, pati na rin po sa mga guro at sa mataas na paralan ng Saint Scholastica, na patuloy pa rin nagbibigay ng kanilang serbisyo sa, sa mamamayan ng talisay. Humihingi po kami ng tawad sa lahat po ng aming pagkakamali. Kung kadalasan po ay inuuna pa namin ang sarili naming kaligayahan kesa sa iyong mga pangaral. Sa mortal at benyal naming kasalanan, na higit pong nagbigay ng pasanin sa iyo. Kung kaya'y inaanyayahan po namin kayo sa pagbubukas ng pasukan sa taong ito, turuan niyo po kami sa tulong po ng iyong banal na espiritu. Na maging maganda ang taong ito, hindi po dahil sa material na aming matatanggap, kundi sa pagpapalaganap ng mga katangian ni San Benito. Sa mga problema ang kinahaharap po ng lahat ng pamilya, gabayan niyo po kaming lahat na magtulungan sa pagpapalaki ng maayos ng mga kabataan ng akademyang ito. Hinihiling namin ito sa ngalan Heso Kristo aming Panginoon sa tulong ni San Benito at Santa Scholastica. Amen. Pagbasa ng Salmo Unang Antifon Tulad ng pahinga ng umaga ay tinitingnan kita o Diyos na maging lakas sa araw na ito. Alleluia. O Diyos, Ikaw ang aking Diyos para sa iyo ay matagal ko. Para sa iyo ang aking kaluluwa ay nauuhaw. Ang aking katawan, pines para sa iyo, tulad ng isang toyo, pagod na lupa na walang tubig. Kaya tinitingnan kita sa sangtuaryo, 
upang makita ang iyong lakas at iyong kalwalhatian. Tugon, tulad ng pahinga ng umaga ay tinitingnan kita. O Diyos, na maging aking lakas sa araw na ito, Alleluia. Sapagkat ang iyong pag-ibig ay mas mahusay kaysa sa buhay, ang aking mga labi ay magsasalita ng iyong papuri. Kaya't pagpapalain kita sa buong buhay ko, sa iyong pangalan ay itataas ko ang aking mga kamay. Ang aking kaluluwa ay mapupuno na parang isang piging. Ang aking bibig ay pupurihin ka ng galak. Tugon, tulad ng pahinga ng umaga ay tinitingnan kita. O Diyos, na maging aking lakas sa araw na ito. Alleluia. Sa kama ko naaalala kita. Sa akin, sumasalamin sa buong gabi. Ang iyong walang humpay na tulong. Ay aninos sa iyong mga pakpak ay nagagalak ako. Ang aking kaluluwa ay kumapit sa iyo. Hinahawakan ako ng kanan mong kamay. Tugon, tulad ng pahinga ng umaga ay tinitingnan kita. O Diyos, na maging aking lakas sa araw na ito, Alleluia. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak, at sa Espiritu Santo. Kapara noong unang-una, ngayon, magpakailanman at magpasolang hanggan, siya nawa. Pagbasa ng Ebanghelyo mula kay San Mateo, Kabanata 11, versikulo 13 hanggang 20. Pumunta si Jesus sa may dakong sesarya ni Pilipo. Tinanong niya ang kanyang mga alagad. Ano ang anak ng tao para sa mga tao? Sino ako para sa kanila? May nagsasabi pong si Juan Bautista kayo. May iba pang nagsasabing si Elias ka o si Eremias o isa sa mga propeta kaya. Ngunit sino ako para sa inyo? At sumagot si Simon Pedro. Ikaw ang Mesias, ang anak ng Diyos na buhay. Mapalad ka, Simon Barjonas. Hindi nga laman at dugo ang nagbunyag sa iyo nito, kundi ang aking amang nasa langit. At ngayon sinasabi ko sa iyo, Ikaw si Pedro, at sa batong ito ko itatayo ang aking iglesia, at hinding hindi ito madadaig ng kapangyarihan ng kamatayan. Ibibigay ko sa iyo ang mga susi ng kaharian ng langit. Ang itali mo dito sa lupa ay itatali rin sa langit at ang kalagan mo dito sa lupa ay kakalagan din sa langit. At inutusan niya ang kanyang mga alagad na huwag sabihin kanino man na siya ang misayas. Sa katedral ng Roma sa sahig malapit sa main altar ay nakasulat sa salitang Latin ang tinatawag na Confession of Saint Peter. Ikaw ang Mesiyas, ang anak ng Diyos na buhay. At sinabi ni Jesus kay Simon Pedro, na mismo ang Diyos amang nasa langit ang nagbunyag nito sa Kanya. Sa aking pagninilay, mismo ang Diyos Ama sa pamamagitan ni San Pedro ang nagpatibay ng katotohanan na si Jesus ay tunay niyang anak, galing sa langit. Mahigit na ang dalawang libong taon ang nakakaraan at makikita nating buhay at nakatuyo ang simbahang itinatag ni Jesus. Bakit? Dahil mismong si Jesus ang nagtatag nito at walang anumang bagay, sitwasyon at pangyayari ang makakabuwag nito. Si Simon Pedro, mahina at isang ordinaryo maingis na lamang noon, mga panahon ni Jesus, ang siyang naging batong sandigan ng iglesia ni Jesus. Pinatunayan lamang dito na sa kabila ng kahinaan ng tao, kung siya ay pasasakop sa kapangyarihan ng Diyos, tunay na magiging malakas at matatag ito. Manatili tayong napasasakop sa kapangyarihan ng Diyos upang ang ating kahinaan sa tulong at awa ng Diyos ay ating maging kalakasan. 
pagpalain tayo ng Panginoon. Amen. Awiti ni Zacarias Purihin ng Panginoon ang Diyos ng Israel. Lumapit siya sa kanyang bayan at pinalaya sila. Siya ay nagbangon para sa amin ng isang makapangyarihang tagapagsalita. Na isinalang sa sambahayan ng kanyang lingkod na si David. Sa pamamagitan ng kanyang mga banal na propeta, ipinangako niya noong una na iligtas niya tayo mula sa ating mga kaaway, mula sa mga kamay ng lahat na napupuot sa atin. Nangako siyang magpakita ng awa sa ating mga ama at alalahani ng kanyang banal na tipan. Ito ang panunumpa na ipinangako niya sa ating amang si Abraham. Upang palayain tayo mula sa mga kamay ng ating mga kaaway, malayang sumamba sa kanyang walang takot, banal at matuwid sa kanyang paningin sa lahat ng mga araw ng ating buhay. Ikaw, anak ko, ay tatawagin bilang propeta ng kataas-taasan, sapagkat pupunta ka sa harap ng Panginoon upang maghanda ng kanyang daan upang mabigyan ng kaalaman ang kanyang mga tao ng kaligtasan sa pamamagitan ng kapatawaran ng kanilang mga kasalanan. Sa malumanay na pakikiramay ng ating Diyos, ang bukang liwayway mula sa itaas ay magbabagsak sa atin upang lumiwanag sa mga tumatahan sa kadiliman at ng anino ng kamatayan at gabayan ang ating mga paa sa daan ng kapayapaan. Luwalhati sa Ama at sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo. Nung unang-una, ngayon, magpakailanman at mapas sa walang hanggan. At Palapos na panalangin. Panginoon, sinabi mo, 
dalawa o tatlo na nagtipon-tipon sa iyong ngalan ay diringgin mo. Andito po kami, hindi lang dalawa, kundi maraming nagsusumamo. Naway mahabag ka sa iyong mga nilikha. Nawapoy matapos ang pandemyang ito. Nawapoy magkaisa ang lahat ng tao. Iba-iba man ang relihiyon sa pagdasal ng totoong kapayapaan ng lahat ng mga bansa. Sa paghagilap sa inyo pong kautusan na maging tunay po ninyong lingkod at maging mabuting samaritan sa lahat ng nangangailangan. Hinihiling namin sa ngalan ng iyong anak na si Jesus, aming Panginoon. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo. Kapara nung unang-una, ngayon, magpakailanman at magpasawalang hanggan, siya nawa. Sa ngalan ng Ama, ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Upang sa lahat ng bagay, ang Diyos ay mapupurihan. Good morning, Scholasticans! Welcome to School Year 2020 to 2021 with the theme, Embracing Differences, Uniting Benedictine Youth in Christ with a Focus Values, Discipline and Community. It is very unfortunate that we could not be able to see each other in our first day. However, we are still blessed because we are still healthy. We indeed praise God for His abundant grace for keeping us safe, and challenging us into hardships and yet loving us more. And now, let me give you the announcement for today. First, distribution of ebooks will be moved on the 29th of August instead of the 24th due to the simultaneous class simulations and evaluation that will happen on the 24th and the 25th of August. But if you want to get the ebooks early, you may get it on August 26th. Please do not forget to bring your USB and your receipts. Secondly, we will also be distributing the modules on the 29th of August at EDP office or the room 112 at 8.30. Those students who chose modular distance learning, please take note of the dates. Third, students of school year 2019 to 2020, kindly get your land school paper starting this August 26, 2020. Fourth, lists of sections will be available tomorrow until this Saturday. We will not be posting the list of sections in our Facebook page due to data privacy. However, we will be posting the list here in school. If you wish to go to school, kindly follow the enrollment schedule. We can also send you your sections through email or through our SSAT help desk. Fifth, those who prefer to receive their ebooks through email account, please furnish us your email account through our SSAT help desk. And lastly, those students who have not confirmed on what mode of learning they will avail must confirm today. This is due to the printing of modules for the offline students and the giving of user ID to the online students. And all students must like our Facebook page so that you can follow our announcement. That would be all. Have a nice day, everyone.
Okay, good morning everyone and benedicite everyone. My dear students, I hope you're still there. Stay put, we're not yet done. Because for today, we will also orient you with regards to our homeroom program. Okay? Now, I would like to inform all of you, especially our students, please be courteous. I, I, I noticed that uh, in our FB, your your comments, please uh, act as a scholastican, okay? So, allow me to make use of Taglish mo na tayo ngayon, ha? Kasi, uh, buwan ng lahi ngayon, di ba? No? So, uh, allow me to, for some times, I will speak for Tagalog. Uh, uh, even though I, I I could not speak well in Tagalog, but I will try my best because uh, buwan ng lahi ngayon. Alright, so uh, to start with our homeroom orientation. Okay, so uh, we would like to say sorry no, for, uh, for a time's delayed because we have to, uh, we, we, we can't deny the fact that this, will, this is our, our internet connection. But uh, we will try our best to, to orient you properly and I hope you have to pay attention. Alright, so uh, I would like to start with our school theme for this school year okay so it says here for the school year our theme is embracing differences uniting benedictine youth in christ and uh, with the value focus of community and discipline so the two highlights here of uh, benedictine hallmarks are community and discipline so I, I want you to memorize that uh, students all right uh, last saturday we give this one also to your parents and by this time we want you to uh, put this one in your mind and try to memorize all right so i would like also to recall no uh, you you memorize a while ago the school's vision mission and uh, I would like also to uh, put that one here in our home homeroom orientation, our vision, mission of the school. So it's stated here. So maybe you could uh, uh, go with me in memorizing our, our vision. It says here, aware of the prevailing global issues, particularly in social, political, economic, social, cultural, and environmental concerns. And our school, St. Classicus Academy, envisions a learning community where every individual strives towards number one, Christian discipleship, seeking God in wi and witnessing the life and works of Jesus Christ. And secondly, full personhood. We are not uh, forming you. We are not only instilling you in knowledge here, math, science, English, but the most of all is your heart no? we're forming the students here you students your mind and your heart so striving for one's cognitive physical social emotional moral and spiritual growth and third the genuine love of country participating in bringing about good news of liberation through solidarity with the poor and promoting good governance and responsible citizenship okay 
Now, uh, for our new students, our especially our grade seven, our and our uh, our transferees, don't worry. We will provide you a copy for this one, uh, especially for those students also who are uh, opted to the modular modality. So we will provide you a copy for this. For those of the online. We will also uh, put this one uh, in your in your maybe in your LMS. We will include this one, the school's vision mission. All right. So next. So kung mayroon tayong vision, therefore mayroon din tayong mission. So ano ang ating mission? So we have here our school's mission. Impelled by our vision, our mission is. To realize an institution of learning, upholding academic excellence as social responsibility, and proclaiming God's love in Christ through service, evangelization, and the formation of the youth. O kasama na ako sa youth, ha? Wag nyo akong kalimutan. These are concretized in our curricular and co-curricular programs. And all other program of actions, okay. All right, and then our all students, alam na nila kung ano ang ating ten Benedictine hallmarks. So I would also try to recall that one here in our orientation. So what are the ten Benedictine hallmarks? So if if we really follow our our school year for this year, we have to start as July. The original is July, but since because of the COVID nineteen pandemic, so we moved that one to August. And late na tayo mag magumpisa ng August, di ba no? So first is July. Our our Benedictine value is Christ centeredness. So, tapos na tayo sa July. And this time, for this month, August, uh, the value is hospitality. And then, month of September, discipline. Month of October, obedience. And month of November, stewardship. Okay? And for the month of December, the value is community. For the month of January, the value is Good speech or silence. Hindi na ako mag-silence po ngayon. I have to. I have to talk to you, no? So, and then February, the the value is service. And then March is humility. And lastly, for the month of April is stability. So those are the complete lineup of our ten Benedictine hallmarks. And I hope. Not only that you're going to memorize or to articulate that, much better you're going to apply that or uh, you have to exercise or observe that one in a real life situations. Okay? So, ganun talaga. Alright, and then I would like to include here the complete lineup of our class advisors for the school year. Maybe for some of you, excited na to know their class advisor. Okay? So, for our old students, then you know them already. But for our new students, hindi pa, no? But, well, anyway, I'm so sorry. I could not provide you a picture here for your class advisor. So, mga ano lang, mga pangalan lang nila, no? So, I'm so sorry for that. But don't worry. Eventually, as... We go for this uh, online class. You will see their faces, their beautiful faces, including me, the handsome faces. <laughs> okay. So for the class advisor of the grade seven, Saint Matthew, Miss Joralyn Dacalos, Saint John, Mister Daryl Bernas, uh, Saint Andrew, Miss Joanna May Aying, Saint Jude, Miss Leonessa Juarez. So these are our grade seven class advisors. For our grade eight class advisors, so we have Saint Macfield, Miss Bernadette Torizo, 
St. Gertrude, Mr. Gerald Paraiso. St. Heldegard, Miss Catherine Insignales. St. Elred, Miss Rowie Ann Abapo. All right. And then for our grade 9 class advisors, St. Monica, Miss Jonani Montalvo. St. Claire, Miss Anna Jean Namok. St. Agnes, Mr. John Paul Fernandez. St. Cecilia, Miss Kate Badajos. And St. Therese, Miss Mary Grace Bankiao. So those are our grade 9 class advisors. And for our grade 10 class advisors, St. Jerome, Miss Lavinia Fernandez. St. Ambrose, Miss Donna K. Caracut. St. Augustine, Ms. Jonah Abatayo. St. Hilary, Ms. Jonah Camille Papalid. Alright. And let's go now to our senior high school class advisors. Grade 11, St. Wilbrod, Mr. Anthony Stephen Briones. St. Ansgar, Ms. Fatima Gigantana. St. Donatus, Mr. Freeland E. Chavez. St. Anselm, Miss Leslie Ann Laios. And to complete the lineup of our class advisors, so grade 12, St. Leoba, Miss May April Veronica Oxtero. Taas ng pangalan ni Miss Oxtero. No? And St. Odilia, Mr. Gilbert Payusan. St. Elfleda, Miss Myrna Monares. And St. Walborga, Miss Larry Licia Caneda. Alright? So, those are our class advisors for the school year. So, you, you, will, you will know them eventually as we go on to our virtual or online class. You will say their faces. Okay. And this time, this is the main point of our homeroom orientation for today. And I want you to pay attention here, students, to, uh, to if you have pen and notebook there, you can, uh, you can write down. You may write them, especially for the key words, because these are uh, guidelines, guidelines for you to follow in terms of our online classes. Okay? Are you ready? So let me start with number one. We call them as the five B's of online distance learning. Five B's. So number one B. Number one, be on time and organized. All right? So how are we going to observe this that you are really following? So when it comes to online classes, be ready 15 minutes before your online class. And check if your gadgets and connection work well. All right. And then secondly, activate your camera with reasonable distance. No. And then uh, please, when you try to what? When you try before, before the online class, before you you log in or before you open to your uh, account, you try to check your camera. No? If if you could uh, see the the proper. You, you are presentable, okay? The, the, the proper for this is that make sure that uh, your, your shoulder, of course your face, can be seen clearly on the camera, all right? And then you wear properly your uniform, neat and presentable. And make sure your work area is free from clutter, your school materials within your reach, all right? So avoid... Uh, standing, avoid the moving. So make sure those materials, those learning gadgets are within your reach. All right. And then second B. Be respectful and responsible. All right. And how are you going to practice this one? So be respectful, like greeting your teacher. You greet them when you start your classes and thank him or her after your lesson. 
observe courtesy by turning off your microphone. So once you're going to get into the uh, Google Meet in your online class, make sure that your microphone is off. All right. Uh, the purpose of this is so that you can hear clearly the instructions of your teacher. And you just wait for your turn to uh, once if, if your teacher is asking you to to on your microphone or see on your microphone during your uh, uh, interaction with your class and then treat the chat box as a learning tool okay so avoid off-topic discussion and bullying others okay students so uh, please uh, oh, you try to what you try to uh, uh, make use of the chat box properly all right and then ask your questions or raise your questions politely and use your learning gadgets responsibly all right so I, i'd like to what i'd like to go back on the if in case you want to you want to raise questions most especially with regards to connection of your uh, internet maybe nawala kayo sa discussion so you're just trying to what uh, I, I know that uh, in terms of communication very simple very easy to access in terms of communication diba no you can just uh, you can just send message to your advisor or your to your teacher so just uh, don't, don't be shy to raise your question sabi nga ni Lola Remedios uh, Lola Remedios ba yon ah Lola Susan Roses wag kayong mahiyang magtanong may right med ba nito di ba yun yun, 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 yun kay uh, kay Lola Susan Roses. So, wag kayong mahiyang magtanong. So, you raise your questions politely, properly. All right, and then third, be engaged and committed. So, take down notes for easy reference. You strive to be an independent learner. Okay? So, participate actively during online academic discussions. And then submit your learning task your activity sheets, your homework, etc. on time. All right? So I hope you're going to observe this one. And then fourth, be honest and open. Observe honesty in performing all your learning activities. Make use of the learning material for your own progress and avoid sharing your answers with others. Baka you're thinking of us, ah, Simply lang na mag, ano, mag cheating no. So I, I hope you you are going to what uh, remember this one, students. Wherever you are, wherever we are, God is there. All right. So please uh, observe this one, in, especially in the uh, with regards to your academic performance, or assignments, or projects to perform, or quizzes. So be honest. Cite your sources when quoting or copying others' words. Uh, to avoid what? Uh, when it comes to this one, you have to observe bawal yung ano, yung plagiarism. Remember that? No? Our, our, our uh, higher years, they know this one already because of their uh, research work. And then communicate your difficulty to your teacher. Just like I said a while ago. Pag nahirapan kayo, you, you have to be open to your teacher. You raise your question politely, courteously, and then clarify and ask questions when you do not understand instructions. Okay? And then, our last B. Be the Benedictine child you are meant to be. Alright? So that's also what we are expecting for you as a student here in Saint School. So pray, that's aura. Just like what we have uh, a while ago, we, we, we pray first, we have our morning praise. And then afterwards, work with your mind. And that's labora. And not with your lips when attending classes. So, ora et labora is our school motto. Pray and work. Alright? And then practice the Benedictine hallmarks 
I presented that one to you a while ago. Remind yourself that your aura at labora is to glorify God. Okay, it's hard for me to to uh, to pronounce this one. Ut in omnibus glorificitor Deus. What does it mean? I I put it here so that in all things may God be glorified. In our school, that in all things. God may be glorified. Okay? So those are the B's of our online distance learning. And you have to memorize that. You have to observe that. You have to exercise that one. Every online classes. Okay? All right. Before we will end our homeroom orientation, I would like to wrap it up just to check if you are following but since uh, you, you cannot interact with me because we are using here FB uh, live streaming so ako na lang mag ano mag answer sa mga tanong dito all right so I'll be asking at the same time I'll be answering okay so just to wrap up here of our homeroom orientation question number 1 what is our school theme this school year 2020-2021? Okay. Or maybe you can what you can comment there sa ano sa FB. Or what is our school theme this school year? Sige nga. I'll give you for uh, one minute only to to put there in the comment section. All right, so our school theme is Embracing Differences, Uniting Benedictine Youth in Christ. And the value focus for the school year is community and discipline. Okay? Second question. What is our school motto? You know this one, all students. Oh, 30 seconds or 20 seconds. All right. So, what is our school motto? A Gina motto? Oh, no. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> our school motto is Ora et Labora. Pray and work. All right. So, that's our school motto. The third question. Ito medyo mahirap to kasi you have to memorize. Dami nun, di ba? Ten yun eh. What are the ten Benedictine hallmarks? What are the ten Benedictine hallmarks? Ako na lang ang mag-asagot sa tanong. <laughs> Alright? So, uh, what are the ten Benedictine hallmarks? Okay, so we have number one. Christ-centeredness. Number two, hospitality. Third, discipline. Fourth, obedience. Fifth, stewardship. Number six is community. Seventh is silence and good speech. Service. Number nine, humility. And last is stability. Alright? So those are our 10 Benedictine hallmarks. So memorize them. Uh, you, you try to uh, try your best. Strive to practice them in your daily life. Alright? And then fourth, yung sinasabi ko kanina, yung 5 B's natin. What are the 5 B's in online distance learning? Ang hirap nun, sir. Alright? Ako na lang ang magsagot. Alright, so uh, what are the five B's in online distance learning? Okay. So uh, the five B's, so first B is be on time and organized. Alright. And then second B is be respectful and responsible. Okay. Then third, 
Be engaged and committed. Fourth, be honest and open. And last, the last B is be the Benedictine child you are meant to be. So those are our five Bs. All right. So my last question. My last question for today is, all right, mahirap to. Okay, so we have here, uh, what are your expectations on distance learning? Mahirap to, no? <laughs> How are you going to answer this one? All right, so I'll be the one to answer. Now, for me as a teacher, uh, online distance learning, I know it's, it's new for us. No? And uh, it's hard because we need to we need to equip ourselves. You know what? Uh, me, our teachers here, our are, are trying our best to to equip ourselves in how are we going to make ourselves uh, master this handling of uh, learning gadgets, this online online teaching learning. So that's why uh, for the first week of this school year, starting today, uh, not, not starting today, but actually we started this one last week. Eh. Uh, starting today and Friday, we, uh, we all have simulation classes. Uh, parang, parang practice lang, no? We, we are training ourselves. At the same time, in your part, you're also training yourself. So we are all training here. We're all practicing here in adapting this new normal of setup of our teaching and learning interactions. Mahirap kaya yan, no? It's so hard to discuss uh, to your students. In me and my part, it's so hard to discuss my math class in an online class. All right? So it's, it's quite uh, a new to me. But wala tayong magagawa. We have to. We have to adapt this one. We have to embrace. Kaya natin to. Okay? So, laban lang siguro, no? So, you, you try to keep on uh, keep on sharpening your mind, sharpening your, your skills in using the learning gadgets. Okay? So, remember this one, students. Uh, for me, I, I know for this time, we have to what? We have to... Uh, orient ourselves with the different uh, learning gadgets to use at this time. But uh, remember, you have to consider them as a weapon for you to learn. So, maski na nag-pandemic ngayon, but still, we have to learn. We have, we are not going to stop learning. Gaya nga sabi ni, ano, no, ni, uh, sabi ni my idol, Albert Einstein. Sabi niya, uh, if you stop learning, it's like you're, you're starting to die. If you stop learning, you are starting to die. So therefore, don't stop learning. You have to learn, learn, and learn. Alright? So, before I will end, allow me to uh, present this last slide I have here. This one. Alright? So, uh, just like I said a while ago, I said online class is hard. It's hard for you. It's hard for me. It's hard for us. But it's only temporary. Temporary lang po yan. And I miss this one. I miss the that uh, we are going to have this type of uh, orientation. Dapat nagkaganito tayo ngayon, di ba? So I, I, I miss this one. But wala tayong magagawa. Kaya we have to adapt. All right? So, online class is hard, but it's only temporary. I know for sure we will be going back to the normal setting, the, the traditional one. Okay? So, don't worry. Uh, we're still hopeful for, for, uh, for the traditional one, for the normal one. Alright? So, that's end my homeroom orientation. That in all things... God may be glorified. Thank you so much, students.
Give you glory. 